Hi guys, Marika here with another card tutorial and today I decided I wanted to play along with Camp Create over at the, My Favorite Things. They have had Camp Creates all through the summer but I haven't been able to join in until this one, this is the third one. Uh, Camp Create is five di different challenges, there is a bonus challenge so I am going to post six different videos here these upcoming days. Uh, it all depends on how many videos I can edit in a day. Um, and the first challenge they have for Camp Create is monochromatic magic. So I'm going to make a card in monochromatic colors. Um, I do use white and this slate gray as the black ink. It's a hybrid ink from My Favorite Things and it's Copic Safe. So I actually use it pretty often when I do Copic coloring because I really like the softness that it isn't that stark black. It's a little bit, a little bit gray. I uh, really love that. For the stamps for this card, I'm going to use the um, Sweet Succulents stamp set. I'm also using that for the sentiment. Um, and I'm going to match up my Copics with the pattern paper and the cardstock. The cardstock is also my favorite things and I will have all the details in the description down below and links to all of the supplies that I've used. So I'm trying to match up the colors with the Copics I have and yes, I have them all. Um, so I'm, I'm choosing out a couple of yellow green that have that more more toward the yellow in the green because that matches the cardstock and the pattern paper that you saw on the left hand side. So I'm starting off by actually uh, base coating these designs. One of the things I want to is to have a really perfect blend. I'm not that much, I don't want lines I just want rounded shadows on these and therefore I base coat it in the lightest color which makes the whole image a little bit wet and when you have a wet image the colors will blend much more easily between each other and also I don't mind having the double coat of the YG01 because I think that the YG01 a single coat is a little bit too yellow so I really like to have that little deeper yellow you get by actually having double double coated of the YG01 but yeah and then I'm just trying to get rounded shadows on all of the flowers and I don't have any accent colors usually when I color I have an accent color I might have colored the flowers red or something like that but as this is a monochromatic challenge I wanted to keep at one color and yeah you saw my little hairy kitty in the corner down below because she wanted to be with me and color but um, I thought that her laying on the stamps wasn't really something you wanted to see but she ended up being in the video anyway in a little bit of a corner. Then I am going to cut all of these out. I love fussy cutting, uh, so I do fussy cut mm, all my stamps, but these specific stamps do have uh, coordinating die dies to go with them. So if you're not a fussy cutter, you can always get the dies. Kind of a cool thing. I kind of like the dies, but I usually try to spend more money on the stamps. Um, and I don't really mind the, the fussy cutting. Uh, the fussy cutting I'm doing with my EK Success Cutter B scissors because they are thin and I really really like them. Um, and then I will go on afterwards with the uh, Martha Stewart craft knife to cut out the last little pieces. So uh, I like to have that those spaces that is possible to cut out. I like to cut, cut those holes. Then I'm going to do a little stripe design. I'm cutting this down. I think it is two inches wide. Um, and the pattern paper is one and seven eighths or one and three eighths three quarters. I'm a little bit bad at this, but the, the card base is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So, um, and that will, I will actually have videos for all of my Camp Create creations, all six of them. And uh, all of the cards are going to be four and a quarter squares. I'm taking the uh, bits and pieces that I got left over when I did the card bases and 
I use them with a lot of the dies. This was a double stitched oval die, also from my favorite things. Um, it's the third one in and I kind of like it, like the size, it would fit perfectly with this kind of layout. And then I'm using my mat to um, kind of line up that so I get that piece straight. And I wanted to do that before I did the stamping so that I could kind of figure out how much white I would have around the stamping. And the sentiment is also from that um, sweet succulents stamp set. I really like it. They, they are, I like the sentiments from my favorite things. They're kind of funny. And then I'm going to put all of these little things together and kind of lining them up to figure out where I want them to go um, in all of the, like, in a little stripe so they will fit perfectly. Um, I have a little bit of that glue on the back side because I put them on and then they didn't look good. So I'm putting them on again, but I'm also using a little bit of my Crafters Companion tape runner on the back side of every one so that um, I can, they can sit perfectly because the uh, glue pen hadn't really dried yet and I wanted them to not fall off the card. So I'm using the tape runner also. And after I put all of the little, um, yeah, flower pots. Uh, I actually lost the rest of the clip because my camera turned itself off. But uh, it's just, I just uh, add them back to where they sat uh, on the little oval, um, just adding that little tape runner on the back side. Uh, also, I'm using that tape runner and adding that oval in the middle of that stripe and that's I thought the card was done and I, something is missing and then I found on my table these little round enamel dots from dual bugs and I thought they would be perfect they're not the perfect fit in the green but almost so I thought they would be perfect to kind of frame that sentiment and give that card that little extra bit to make it stand out not be as simple as it was. But yeah, that is the first card in the Cam Create series, the monochromatic magic, all in green. And you will see that all of the rest of the videos throughout this little series are going to be mostly green because I just got stuck in it and I just loved playing around with those colors. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, please thumbs it up and share it with your friends. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Down below you find all the details. And here are two other videos I have made with the MFT supplies. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!